Today we're going to be putting one of these into one of these. A 2002 Pontiac Grand Prix. <clears throat> we have a very inconsistent pedal that tends to go to the floor a lot. I'm thinking the master cylinder has taken a dump. So we're going to replace it today. Thankfully on this Grand Prix it's pretty easy to get to. you got two bolts holding it to the brake booster and you have two lines going to the ABS module. If we do our thing right today we're not even going to have to bleed the brake system. We'll just need to bleed the master brake. So what we're going to do now is uh, disconnect the low level sensor and uh, take the master cylinder off the car. Now that the battery is undone, first thing I'm going to do is undo the hose connections to the master cylinder. That appears to be a 14 millimeter bolt we're fitting. Once we get these undone, we're going to lift them up <clears throat> so they don't drain out. And we're also going to uh, cover them with saran wrap so we don't get any contamination in there. It's a flexible line going to the ABS module, so we should be good. <clears throat> now that those are loose, we're going to use a 15 millimeter wrench on the boost, uh, booster as soon as we get the little level switch. There. So that's unplugged from the side, the reservoir. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the unit off the car. One bolt. The other bolt and the unit should just come right out. What we're going to do now, if this is in frame, is we've got to take the reservoir off so we can put it on our new one. I'm going to drain the reservoir of uh, fluids. And then I'm going to... We have to drive out or pull out oops, uh, two pins to get the reservoir off our old master cylinder. That one's out. Probably should drive this one the other way. Or I can just leave it in the master cylinder. Let a bunch of oil out of the master cylinder. that pins out of the way it should kind of come right out with a little hand pulling wiggle wiggle oh you come Oops. our new kit comes with new o-rings so no big deal come on now there you go oh that's full of tar and crap so there's our old core go uh, inside we'll clean this up and uh, we'll get our uh, new master cylinder ready inside in the warmth so now we're just gonna take these little rubber seals off the old reservoir we have new ones with our kit and that'll allow us to clean underneath here since this thing is pretty dirty the whole thing down with some paper towels, clean out the inside as best we can. I'm going to just take a little bit of brake fluid and just drip it on these seals just a bit so they don't scuff themselves as they get on. Always use new brake fluid when you're doing brake work on things. The old stuff is likes to absorb water and pretty much just becomes useless so always use new stuff when you're doing things like this. They're, they're wet put her back on the master cylinder. Click. Master cylinder. Uh, the reservoir is on the master cylinder. Our kit includes little keys like we had on the other one that we're going to drive through now so that it doesn't go anywhere.
one. Get enough so she's in. And we're good. That side's in. This side's in. Tank is now on. Next, we'll fill it up. Okay, with our kit, we get these little blue things, which are to help us bleed the master cylinder. They're a unit kit, if you will. <clears throat> we will put them on, and they will bottom up quickly. They're not very deep. <clears throat> we'll then attach hoses to them, which also come with the kit. They barely fit, which is good. And we'll reroute them into the reservoir. And then in theory, you put it on a bench vise, or a vice bench, or whatever, and uh, actuate the master cylinder enough to actually get all the air out of it. However, in this situation, I don't have one. I'm working out of my house. So we're going to just do it here on the table. Okay, let's fill this thing full of brake fluid. Should be enough for now. It's covered up my tubes anyway. Yeah, it's very full. Probably too full. Now I'm going to use the back of a plastic screwdriver to actuate the master cylinder in order to get it primed. It works much easier now that it's got fluid in it. We'll keep doing this until there's no more bubbles. There. Back and forth. With no bubbles. It's exactly what we want. Now that the system is bled, we're going to go take this entire assembly and go put it back outside. We'll loosely bolt it to the booster. We'll get our thread started on our brake assembly again. Um, we'll tighten down the booster, tighten down the lines, and then we're gonna bleed it. And I'll need an assistant for that. All right, bolt it up. Using our large bolts again. And then we'll connect our brake lines. And now we're going to bleed the system that we've got all got it installed. Ready? We're getting some good air out of that one. Okay, pump it. So now that we've got that bled, we'll go connect the battery back up and then we'll fire up, see how she does. And after a couple successful test drives, that was the only bleeding we needed to do. Works great, the pedal's getting better and better actually the more I use it. We don't have any leaks, we didn't even have to take anything off the ABS system. We were able to bleed the master cylinder without having to bleed the brakes. So that's pretty much how you change a master cylinder in a 2002 Pontiac Grand Prix.